All right, today we are going to talk about finding the area and perimeter of a rectangle, trapezoid, parallelogram, square, and a triangle. So all these different shapes. All right, so first of all, we need to remember that area is the square units that fill the inside of a polygon. So area always talks about the inside, and perimeter is the distance around the outside of the polygon. So perimeter is the outside, area, inside. Always measured in square units, just regular units. All right, so these are our formulas. So right here we have a rectangle. So let's just make sure that we know what our shapes are. So this is a rectangle. So area of a rectangle is just length times width. And this is our square. All right, so square is uh, just side squared. Um, but that's just because all sides of the square are the same. So remember, square is technically a rectangle. Um, so we can go length times width on this one. Here's our triangle. Uh, triangle is area equals half base times height. And remember, multiplying by half is the same thing as dividing by two. Uh, here's our trapezoid. So this is one half times the height, base one plus base two. Now, remember, when we have to figure out what the base is, the base is the two sides that are parallel to each other. Remember, parallel means that they're never going to intersect. So if we were to draw these lines continuing, we would see that those would intersect. So that means these two right here, when we put these little arrows on them, which represents parallel. So here's base one, here's base two, and remember your height, just like the triangle, always goes straight up from a base. So this would be your height. And then your parallelogram uh, right here is just base times height, so base times the height. Uh, so perimeter is found, and so we just talked about our uh, formulas for area. So uh, perimeter, no matter what the shape is, is found by adding all the sides up of the polygon. Uh, remember, sum means adding. So in other words, it just means to add up all the sides. So here's your rectangle. Uh, so we're saying length, width, so we, length, width. So length plus length plus width plus width, which is the same thing as two lengths plus two widths, because you have two L's and two W's. And your square. And uh, we're going to call one side S. And remember, the sides of a square, all sides are equal. So it's S, 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 S. So S plus S plus S plus S. Or since you have four of them, it's just the same thing as four times one of the sides. All right, so let's take a look at this. So just like uh, anything, we always write down our formula first. Uh, so we're going to go A equals, and this is a rectangle, so it's length times width. So we're going to go 5.5 .5 times 3. So we can take our calculator and go 5.5 .5 times 3, and we're going to get 16.5. And since it was centimeters, an area is always centimeters squared. All right, perimeter, add up all the sides. So 5.5 plus 3 plus 5.5 plus 3. We can go ahead and put that in here. 5.5 plus 3 plus 5.5 plus 3. So that's 17 centimeters for that one. All right, next one's a square. So we're just area equals side squared. So it's just 7 squared, which we should know is 49. And perimeter uh, is just going to be 4 times the side. So 4 times 7 that equals 28 inches. All right, so all it is is you're just uh, looking at your formulas, plugging in uh, the stuff you know. So triangle now, area equals half, base times height. Base is always the bottom. Um, so our base, we're going to substitute in for the B, we're going to put a 6. Remember, your height always goes straight up from the base. So this would be your height. So this is represented by the 4. Half times 6 is 3, 3 times 4 is 12, so that's 12 feet squared. And your perimeter is add up all the sides, so we're going 5 plus 6 is 11, plus 5 is 16. So that's how we do that one. Over here, rectangle again. Um, so area is just 2 times 5 and a half, so 5.5 times 2 is 11, 
So 11 yards squared in perimeter. 5.5 plus 2 is 7.5. Uh, plus 5.5 is 12, which is 13. Plus 2 is 15. We can check that just to make sure. 5.5 plus 2 plus 5.5. Oops, hit minus on accident. So plus 2. 15 yards. Alright, and this one, half base times height. So half, remember your base is the bottom. Your base and your height always form a 90 degree angle. So we're going to call the base 6. We're going to call the height 8. So half of 6 is 3. 3 times 8 is 24. And then add up all the sides, 10 plus 8 is 18, uh, plus 6 is 24. Alright, All right, so go ahead and try this one. Uh, come on back when you're ready and give you the answer. Alright, so this one, uh, you're just going 12 times 9. Uh, 12 times 9 is, uh, let's see, 2 times 9 is 18, carry the 1. Uh, 9 times 1, so 108 centimeters squared. And then 12 plus 9 is 21. So that means our perimeter is going to be 42. Okay. Try this one, come back when you're ready. Okay. So half, 7 times 8. this to see what the side is. So we can go half of 8 is 4. 4 times 7 is 28. So 28 centimeters squared. And the perimeter, uh, this is an equilateral triangle. So it means all these sides are the same. So 7 plus 7 plus 7 is 21 centimeters. Okay. Parallelogram. Pause it. Come back when you're ready. Right, parallelogram is uh, just base times height. So the base is 12. Our height is 4. So that means we have 48 centimeters squared. And perimeter is just add up all the sides. So 5 plus 12 is 17. Plus 5 is 22. Plus 12 is 24. So again, that was 5 plus 12 plus 5 plus 12. And our uh, community property of addition says we can add anything uh, we want together first. Uh, so if we wanted to, we go 5 plus 5 is 10, and 12 plus 12 is 24. So if I wanted to, I could go 10 plus 24, and we get 34 centimeters. Okay. We have a trapezoid now. So again, you need to make sure which side is your uh, bases. So again, those are the ones that go parallel to each other. So these are going to be your bases. So go ahead and pause it. Come on back when you're ready. All right. So this is half height base one plus base two. So half the height goes up, straight up from the base. So this is an angle. So here's your height. So it's going to be four times seven plus thirteen. We're going to do our order of operations. So parentheses first. Half times four times 20. So half of 4 is 2. 2 times 20 is 40. All right, perimeters always add up all the sides. So 5 plus 7 plus 4 plus 13. Um, I'm going to add 7 and 13 because that makes 20. 5 and 4 is 9. So we're going to get 29 centimeters. All right, square. Uh, so that's just area equals side squared. Perimeter equals 4 times the side. So that's 12 squared. So that means that's 144 centimeters squared. And that means this is 4 times 12, which is 48. Alright, even though this is funny looking, it's still a triangle. Um, so pause it, try it, come on back when you're ready. So area equals half base times height, half times 6 times 8, half of 6 is 3, 3 times 8 is 24, so 24 centimeters squared, perimeter, add up all the sides, uh, 
Oh, they just wanted us to find the area in this one because they didn't give us the side, so we can't find the perimeter. Alright, we're going to find the area of this one. So area equals half base times height. Half, the base is 8.4, the height is 4.6. Now if we don't know what half of 8.4 is, we can just go in here. We can go 0.5 times 8.4, that equals 4.2. So then I'm going to multiply by the 4.6 times 4.6 equals 19.32 centimeters squared. Right. Right. Uh, this will be our last one. Um, so we have a parallelogram. So we have this side is 5, this side is 1.92, and this height is 1.43. So area equals base times height. So that's, okay, let's go with a different color. Let's go with red. All right, so base is the 1.92, height is the 4.3. So let's multiply that. 1.92 times 4.3, and we're going to get 8.256. Centimeter square. Your perimeter, add up all the sides, 5 plus 1.92 plus 5 plus 1.92. So we know 5 plus 5 is 10, so we can put that in there. 10 plus 1.92 plus 1.92 equals 13.84. So 13.84 uh, centimeters. Alright, All right, so in review, uh, we just need to make sure that we know our formulas. Uh, so our area formulas for a rectangle, area equals length times width. Uh, area of a square is just side squared. Area of a triangle, area equals half base times height. A trapezoid is area equals half times height times base 1 plus base 2. And then the area of a uh, parallelogram is area equals base times height. And then as always, perimeter is just adding up all the sides no matter what kind of shape it is. Um, so perimeter always in regular units and area is measured in square units. Alright, so hopefully that helped you out. As always, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask.